Hey guys, this is Karthik Agantwal from Apex Finso and I'm back with your daily dose of charts for tomorrow's trading session. Now, since today was a trading holiday, we don't have uh, anything to discuss from the prior trades, but talking about what's new for tomorrow. Starting quickly for the equity side of things, the first trade that we have is a short planned on SBIN. Uh, it's a little simple. First of all, tomorrow I'm not really expecting a positive or even a flat opening i am expecting a gap down so most of the trades are a bit short biased now for tomorrow we are going to go for a role reversal based uh, trade on sbin where the level of 335 to 333 had always been acting as a strong level of resistance now that it has been strongly broken and role reversal seems to have been confirmed we are going to go for a short exactly there stop loss at 338 ideal targets one percent on the downside the second trade is on sun tv where again we are going to go for a role reversal based short now this one uh, should be pretty obvious uh, to you from the charts itself that the level of 477 to 475 has been acting as a or not has rather but it was a strong support in the past uh, recently it was broken and since then the price has not really uh, successfully sustained over that we are going to go for a short exactly there at 477 stop loss at 484 ideal targets one percent on the downside the third trade is on TVS Motors, where we are going to go for a long, for a uh, really old support at 525. It was a resistance turn support, and after quite some time, the price is once again interacting with that level. We are going to go for a long there, stop loss at 517, ideal targets 1% on the upside. The fourth is on Biocon, again a long, but uh, pretty far away from the price, about 1.5 to 2%, because as I said, I am expecting a gap down move tomorrow. Now we're going to go for a uh, long position here because we have a structure based confirmation it is a prior swing point that has not yet been broken the structure is now invalidated but still that swing point is still there we're going to go for a long there stop loss at 388 idle targets one percent on the upside the final equity trade that we have is a really simple short on titan where we are going to go for a short at 1550 because it has been a long time resistance stop loss at 1575 idle targets as usual 1% on the downside. Now moving on to the indices, uh, talking about Nifty and Bank Nifty, uh, that's kind of uh, tricky as of now because as I said I am expecting a gap down. Now for tomorrow of course I do expect the selling pressure that was there before to continue, however going strongly by the charts. I have an immediate trading range for uh, Nifty from you can say on the lower side of uh, 14 to 25, 14 to 30 till about 14 to 95 14 300 so about 80 point or 0. 0.5 percent of a trading range for nifty above that you can clearly target a hundred point move on the upside under that a hundred point move on the downside now i do sincerely hope that we have a flat opening uh, so that we can actually take uh, the direction break trade from this trading range but going by the markets internationally as well as uh, sgx that doesn't really seem the case as of now when i talk about the option chain for nifty I have immediate resistance at 14400 with 368,000 added contracts. Significant of course at 14500 with 1.2 million added contracts. Support comes in at 14300 with a measly 11,000 added contracts. Significant at 14200 with total negative change but a standing open interest of about 2 million contracts. The PCR comes at 0.95, uh, nothing special there but you can say that it is a bit aggressively bearish than what it was before at I believe 0.85 to 0.87. Now moving on to the second index or Bank Nifty. Bank Nifty to be honest we do have a sheer lack of zones however there is one immediate zone at 31200. Above that you can expect 31300. Rejection from there you can expect 3600 on the low side or a minimum of 3800. So either way you should get a minimum of 200 points per move from that very zone. However I do expect the price to open somewhere around 3600 or 3700 itself tomorrow. So let's see how that goes out. Keep in mind that if the price uh, you know opens far away from all the zones that I have plotted I will happily take a trading holiday tomorrow. I do not have to trade every single day and I hope you understand that as well. When I talk about the option chain for Bank Nifty, I have immediate resistance at 31200 with 42,000 added contracts, significant at 31500 with 77,000 added contracts. Support comes in of course at 31,000 big round number, however it is just 300 added contracts. The total standing interest, open interest is a bit more uh, you know, impressive with uh, I believe about uh, 80 to 90,000 uh, total contracts. Significant support comes in at 3500 with total 685,000 contracts but negative change. 
when i talk about the pcr that comes at 0.97 which just like nifty is uh, not overly aggressively bearish but it's a bit more bearish than uh, before which was i believe at uh, the high point eights or the low point nines which is of course keeping in mind the selling pressure that we have had over the past couple of days now this is it for tonight's video this marks the end of all the charts and analysis that i had to share with you guys if you want to catch the chart or the option chain analysis or even the equity trades for tomorrow's trading session check out our telegram channel at the rate apex finso i share everything there before the market opens so that you can actually make use of it now as usual if you like the content if you like the video don't forget to support us by leaving a nice comment liking the video and uh, well subscribing and if possible sharing it within your trading group as well i hope you have a wonderful and green trading session tomorrow thank you so much for watching have a good night bye